Hey friends, it's Jen from Gold Nutrition. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're unboxing the April edition of the Jane's Agenda Deluxe Sub Box. So if that sounds good to you, then just keep watching. Hey guys, how's everybody? I am so excited because we are unboxing the April edition of the Jane's Agenda Deluxe Sub Box. So I do want to show you how beautiful it is inside. See how the inside of the box says hello. It's so cute. And I love this tissue paper. And then so pretty and so exciting. <laughs> So I'm going to go off camera for a moment and get rid of all the noisy wrapping and then we are going to dig right in. Okay, so first up we have the tour card and I love the quote on this one. It says, we have calcium in our bones, iron in our veins, carbon in our souls, and nitrogen in our brains. 93% stardust with souls made of flames. We are all just stars that have people names. Nikita Gill. I never heard that before, but I love it. And it's really pretty. The tour card usually, you know, matches the theme of the box. And this is absolutely going to go in my planner. So I always say this when I do these unboxings, I always consider this, you know, an additional item in the box because it always matches and I always put it in my planner and it, <clears throat> it's so pretty. Next, we have quote cards. So you usually do get quote cards. And if you're not familiar with the Jane's Agenda sub box variety, <laughs> if you will, there's the monthly cover club, which I do have a number of videos of just unboxing the monthly cover club because that's what I used to get, which includes laminated covers, a dashboard set to go behind those laminated covers and a page finder. Or if you're in rings, you get, um, I believe, two laminated dashboards instead of the cover. Or you can get the lifestyle box, which will have things like journaling cards or clips or dashboards or pouches, things like that. Or you could get the deluxe, which you'll get everything, which is what I get now. I'll do my best to, to save the cover club items to the end, since I know some of you continue to be interested in that particular subscription. Okay, so we have journaling cards and this one, I really like this one. It says astronomy compels the soul to look upwards and leads us from this world to another, Plato. And the other one is just um, a decorative like sunburst, sun and moon. Um, so those are cool. Then we have rose gold oval clips. You often do get some kind of clips. I really like them and it is a really pretty color rose gold. So I really like those. And then this is a friction erasable highlighter. Now I have used these in the past. And what I'll say is when I was first new to planning, I used friction pens quite a bit because it kind of was less intimidating to me since if you're not familiar, friction pens, you can erase, they're erasable. So now I tend not to do that, but I'm a much more experienced planner too. And I, I'm okay with it if I have to cross something out or white it out. But if you're using friction pens, this is an eraser that also erases. And so that's a nice option. The only thing is I found in the ones I've had in the past that they were kind of uneven or like maybe kind of splotchy. Okay, I grabbed this. Let's take a, a look at what it's like. Yeah, see it kind of, um, and it maybe it's me because I, I'll be honest, I don't use highlighters a ton. So I'm probably not as experienced. I'm sure there is a bit of a technique. We try to be more even. Yeah, that's a little better, but I, that's what I've found that they're kind of, they can be a little like that, but again, a really nice, um, I found a friction pen. Just going to write test. I love these, by the way, I think they call them sticks. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but they write really smoothly and I do use them in my goal setting planner right now because I'm enjoying color coding in there and there I kind of like having the option to erase if I want to. So I have been using those there. I kind of forgot about that. It's 
so. Yeah, I'll use it. And then let's try erasing it. So it looks like the eraser end is here. Oh yeah. Yeah, that works. So that's really cool. That is a nice option, I have to say. Next we have this rose gold celestial washi. See that? So pretty. Oh, to me, it reads more gold, but you know, sometimes it's like that in certain lights. I'm so happy we got washi. Okay, next, it seems that this year we're getting every month a vellum that is for the month of the sub box. I really appreciate that because I love vellum. So, you know, as you can tell, this is a celestial theme going on in here. This is called the decorative dashboard set above the clouds and butterfly wing. So we have our April washi. Then this must be the one that's called above the clouds. That's really pretty. Oh, I really like that. Yeah, really pretty. And then this is the butterfly wing, which is also very pretty. Ooh, you guys, I am liking this box. Next, we have a saddle stitch notebook. So it is called Star Signs. And that's the back. And then when you open it up, it's lined paper, a pretty good amount. So while bookbound planners are not my jam, I kind of like having a thin bookbound notebook like this because it's easy to keep it inside your planner for like a brain dump or like something like that. I saw her show her slipping this inside one of her vegan leather covers. Also, if I didn't use it that way, it could certainly fit in my planner pouch that I put my half letter in. This is the notebook, but there's a lot more to to see you guys next very exciting we got clear dividers side tab dividers and I know from the Facebook group this is making people's hearts happy I I didn't mention earlier I'm a Jane's Agenda affiliate if you go down in the description box you can find my affiliate link and I do earn a small commission anytime you shop that link so I really do appreciate that but also if you're making your first purchase with Jane's Agenda you can save 15% with the code goal 15 sub box excluded. Yeah, I see people talking. I imagine these will come to the shop, but I don't like get an exclusive or anything. So I don't know that for sure, but I would have to think that she'd put them in the shop because yeah, people were psyched and you, um, you get six of them, which is really nice. So you can see how the tabs are there, hopefully. Um, and there is a coating, like I pulled one off already. So there, yeah, there is a film. Oh man, why is that so satisfying? But look how pretty, look how pretty those are. So excited. And I think I neglected to mention, I receive my sub box in uh, the junior size, junior disc bound, which is for a half letter planner, but some companies call it junior. So yeah, the junior disc bound. So that's what these are sized for, but you can get them in HP classic or mini or all kinds of ring sizes too. Then we got clear divider labels i'm so excited about that they're really pretty we get numbers one through six if you like that style for your dividers or we have the words january through december which is nice um, so that gives you so much flexibility there um, and then we have meal plan business inbox tasks projects home next actions goals self-care reference medical and notes i am loving that they gave us this and 
uh, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited, you guys. I want to set up my planner next. I might do that next. And I will absolutely be filming that. So, you know, if that interests you, if you want to see how I set up my half letter from month to month, it would be awesome if you would consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I would appreciate that so, so much. Or if you're just simply enjoying this video, then please like it, give it a big old thumbs up and maybe share it with someone else that you think would enjoy it too. And thank you so much. Now we have inserts and I am intrigued. I am intrigued, you guys. So this is a sample of a layout that is going to be coming to the shop. I believe, I believe that Jane already said that because it does say sample and these are dated, which I love. Now it is sometimes nice with something short term to get undated because it gives you some flexibility. But honestly, with my weekly planning, I prefer dated inserts. And when I saw the sneak peeks of these, I wasn't sure if they would be for me, but um, I am definitely going to give them a try in April because I am so intrigued by them. So let's take a look. So Executive Weekly, we get April 2023 to June 2023. So we just get a dot grid page to start and there's a dot grid page between each month, which is really nice because I, yeah, I had to look at these. I had to. So we just have a little April, 2023 down here. And then here is our layout. So again, this is a junior size. So probably be, you know, less or more room depending on what size you use. It's a vertical layout, which is not always my go-to. I use it in some scenarios. It is like a lined vertical, but a little different because what we have is a blank, two lines appear. Then these two lines are labeled early, which is, I'm not sure what that means. If that's supposed to indicate like, maybe like your, what you would do for your morning routine. If you don't like that heading, you can certainly just cover it and put whatever you want there. But also I'll be interested to see like if Jane shows how she uses these or, you know, maybe I'm misunderstanding what that heading means. Then we have an hourly at the top of the column. Um, so it starts at seven and so on and so forth down to seven. So that's a pretty good chunk of time. And then we have late. So I don't know, maybe it's like splitting your day in half. I'm not sure. And then we just have like a to-do list or a check boxes. I guess you, I you know my mind goes to to-do list, but you certainly could probably use it for a variety of reasons. Yeah. And then we just have, we do have a tiny Saturday and Sunday, which there was a point in my planning where that really bugged me because I was trying to do so much on the weekends. The weekend was the only time I had. My style of planning currently, honestly, I don't write a lot in my planner on the weekends. So I don't mind this at this season of my life. And then when you do have a blank space here, which is cool, you could decorate it, you could customize it. I'm sure you, you know, you could do a variety of things there, put a habit tracker in there. Yeah. So that's just what they are. So I am, I am intrigued. I am intrigued. I am going to try them, see what I think. And yeah. And then when you get to the end of the month, it's just separated by dot grid, which I really, really appreciate. So you could put your monthlies in between if you're using a monthly spread, which I do. I use the executive monthly spread from Jane's agenda. So yeah, this box, yes, 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 yes. And there's more. <laughs> okay, guys. So now we are getting into the final items, which are the ones from the monthly cover club subscription. First, we have our double-sided dashboards. So these are interesting. I, well, I like both sides. This pattern I think is very pretty though. Um, this stars and moons with some little flowers, you know, I'm a sucker for the florals. Um, so yeah, I like that, but this side is cool too. Like this kind of old school, maybe astrological 
I'm not big into astrology, but I, th I think this is cool. I like it. So we're going to put it aside. Then we have this page finder that is so pretty, so pretty. I just posted a short or it should be up by the time that I, this is up comparing the Jane's Agenda hybrid dashboards to the page finders. So um, I'll link that for you if you'd like to see that. But this is a page finder. Really, really pretty. Love this one. You know, here's what it kind of, how it looks with these. Yeah. Next up, we have covers. I think it's really pretty. I love this foiling. I don't know if they're calling this rose gold. To me, I mean, it kind of goes both ways. Like it's kind of on the edge between rose gold and gold. Really pretty. So now I love to try all the different dashboards that you get under here. I think that's fun. So we'll do that before we wrap up the video and I give you my final thoughts. Okay, so first we'll try the dashboards that came in that you know would come with that cover so you get them either in the monthly cover club or the deluxe box so we'll try this side first so that's what that looks like so that's cool here's the back so here's this side which is really pretty as well now we'll look at the dashboards that would be either in the deluxe subscription or the lifestyle subscription. You know, the only thing is you don't have two of the same with these. So you would have to like have different back and front, but I usually do that. I don't care. I don't mind it at all. So that's that. I really am liking this butterfly. Let's look at the butterfly. Oh, I really like that. I think that's what will be my cover. <gasps> I really like that. And then with that page finder, what? Yes, yes, Jane, yes. This was a good one. I didn't realize how much I was gonna love it. Okay guys, that is the April edition of the Jane's Agenda Deluxe Sub Box. If you couldn't tell, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I think she's just been killing it this year. I have no regrets about upgrading my subscription box. And you just more and more are getting almost a full planner setup. So it's just amazing. It's a really great value, I think. I'm really excited to get my planner set up for April. So um, I hope that you'll join me for that. But that is going to do it for this one, you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.